Hi, my name is Ajay Nair. I'm the vegetable extension specialist here in the Department of Horticulture at Iowa State University. And today we are going to show you a short video of how to graft tomato plants. Uh, me and my graduate students here, which I, whom I will introduce to you uh, in a bit, uh, we, are, we will show you how to, uh, the correct way of grafting. And this is part of an experiment where these grafted plants will ultimately grow to different growers here in the state of Iowa. And the growers will grow them, we will uh, assess and evaluate their performance and see how the grafting, uh, uh, grafted plants uh, perform outside. So if you come closer, uh, this is the scion. And this cultivar is Mountain Fresh. Uh, this was seeded uh, on the uh, third on third March or 19th March, and this is today is the 18th uh, of April, which is about uh, one month. And you can see the growth on these uh, uh, scions. And at the time when the scions were seeded, we also seeded the rootstocks, and the uh, rootstocks are here. Uh, the rootstock cultivar was the uh, RST 04106. Again, if you look at the rootstock, 30-day-old, uh, they were grown in the greenhouse, under high-pressure sodium lamp, not too much fertilizer, uh, maybe once or twice uh, in the third week. And you look at the scion here, so let me show you, compare, show you the size of the transplants. They're pretty close, and I mean, you don't have to wait for 30 days to graft. Uh, as soon as you see that the size of the scion and the rootstock is almost similar, about two millimeter diameter, uh, you can uh, uh, graft them. So uh, let's go on the other side of the table and uh, see how the grafting is being done here. So this is uh, Dana Jogla, he's a grad student in my lab, Jennifer Tillman and Ray Cruzy. And initially, the person who held the camera was Brandon Carpenter. So he's also helping us graft. So Dana here uh, is making a 45 degree cut on the uh, scion. And this scion, Dana, is the Cherokee purple. And let's go closer and take a look at how the cut is being made. What he has done here, he has made a, a Pythagoras. Uh, he's using the Pythagoras theorem and uh, made a hypotenuse on which so that we get exact 45 degree cut. Uh, then if you can be a little slow on this one so that we can show and you make the 45 degree cut couple of things to uh, to keep in mind is that the cut is being made below the cotyledon and uh, you are cutting the scion right now right that's right yeah just below the cotyledon and that is the scion is what we need and if we go on the other side where ray is making the cut on the rootstock and he's doing the same thing he's making a 45 degree cut uh, on the rootstock and uh, again uh, the angle is important both have to be 45 degree and what he is going to use is the is the uh, root of the plant we can make one more cut and go a little slow and just to show you how the cut is being made it's a 45 degree cut again below the cotyledon and the rootstock is what we are interested in and Jen here will show you how actually we uh, connect or, uh, or you know uh, graft them together so here uh, she has the uh, root stock root in her left hand and she's putting the uh, grafting clip these clip these clips were uh, about uh, they can be used to graft two millimeter diameter uh, seedlings or transplants and you can see this is the scion in her right hand and she's going to just insert it such a way halfway so that both are joined together so let's me okay can you do one more Jen and sure again uh, we one has to be very careful that we grab the scion on the rootstock and not the other way and you could see she's inserting the clip halfway with the cut end facing up so that you can see the uh, you can make sure that the uh, uh, the connection is is proper and she inserts the scion in there just just to make sure that they're properly connected and then this goes into a new flat here and you could see the uh, grafted plants here these will be moved to a healing chamber for the first two days where there'll be no light and under high humidity and later on we'll slowly introduce light uh, and open the, uh, uh, the the area where we put the plants up so that there is some uh, air movement too and then they should be the graft graft union should have been ready by two two weeks uh, 
so again uh, just an overview we, here so this could be uh, a process where you have two or three people lined up you can see uh, Dana cutting the scions here Ray is cutting the rootstocks and the third person here Jen is actually uh, making sure that the graft is done properly and moving them into the flats below so thank you you all for explaining this uh, of the grafting process and we hope that we uh, were able to show you uh, through this video uh, the, the right way of uh, uh, grafting tomatoes and the technique we are using here is uh, simple tube grafting it's just a simple tube in which you're inserting the rootstock and the scion thank you very much and uh, a big thanks from the sustainable vegetable production lab here at Iowa State University